Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 157. Please turn to it. Page 157, problem number 7, the very first problem that you see on that page. All of these problems that you see on this page, of page 157, are the exact same problem that appeared on the exact same page number in the first edition of the revised GRE. We have already solved all of these problems. We are just redoing them at a little bit of a faster pace. So if you need if you need to go at a slower pace, if you need a little bit more help, you can go and watch the original video, which you will find on day 57 and 58. Day 57 and 58. Where we did the same problem, as I said, at a little bit of a slower pace. This problem deals with concepts of what is known as permutation versus combination. And if you understand the difference between the two concepts, that's what this, 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 that's what this concept uh, question requires. And if you understand the concept, you don't actually have to memorize any formulas. Just, just understand what's, what, what lies behind it. For example, for example, if you are asked, here's, for example, if you are asked to pick pick two people, pick two people out of three. How many different ways can we pick two people out of three? Well, ask yourself if there are three people there, A, B, and C, how many people, how many, how many different ways can we pick a first person? Well, there are three, three different people, so there are three ways, A, B, and C. So there are three different ways of picking a first person. After we have picked a first person, how many different ways can we pick a second person? And the answer is two, because one has already been picked, so there are two different ways of picking a second person. How many different ways are there altogether of picking two people out of three? The answer is three times two, or six, as we can see here very quickly. A, B, C. We can have A, B, or we can have B, A. We can have AC or we can have CA. We can have BC or we can have CB. As you can see, there are six different ways of picking these two people as long as the order matters. If the order matters, then there are six different ways. In other words, picking B first and the C second letter is considered a different situation than picking a C first and a B second. So this question as it was phrased, pick two people out of three, was a little bit ambiguous. It doesn't actually clarify as to what we are dealing with here. For example, if the first person happens to be for the position of president, we have three people and we are, our job is to pick a president and a vice president, president and a vice president, then of course order does matter. Because picking A, B, where A is the president and B is the vice president, is different from picking a B, A, where B is the president and A is the vice president. Here, order does matter. When order matters, then, we, then what, we, what we're dealing with here is what is known as permutations. These are called permutation. Just remember, just remember this part. Permutation, permutations, permits, Repetition. Permutation permits repetition. You are allowed to repeat here. B A is counted as a different scenario than A B. What if you are dealing with the situations where order does not matter? We simply ask to pick two people. We have to form a committee, or we have to have a. We, we need two people to do some job. There are three people all together, and our job is to pick the two people to do the job. In which case, it doesn't matter which one you pick first, whether you pick A first or B first. It doesn't really matter. We just need two people out of three. In which case, what we realize here, in which case, order will be of no significance. Order will be of no significance and 
is we can realize there are three ways of picking a first person, two ways of picking a second person, but as we can see, every, every combination that we see there is being repeated here. A, B, and B, A is the same thing. Since everything is being repeated, then however many different ways there are, we have to take half as many. We have to take half as many, and these two cancels out, and there are three different ways. In other words, these three or that three, we can't count both. In other words, if you have to pick two people out of four, if you have to pick two people out of four, we would ask ourselves the same question. We would ask ourselves the same questions. We have four people, A, B, C, D. So we can have A, B, O, B, A, A, C, or C, A. We can have A, D, O, D, A. We can have B, C, or C, B. We can have B, D, or D, B. And finally, we can have C, D, or DC. As you can see there, there are six different ways here and six different ways here. There are 12 different ways. Why 12 different ways? Because we have four people. So there are four different ways of picking a first person. There are three different ways of picking a second person. So there are 12 different ways as long as the order matters. Again, this is permutation. But if you're talking about combination, if you're talking about combination picking simply two people out of, out, out, out of four, then we realize there are four ways of picking a first person three ways of picking a second person, but at the same time we realize that because we are picking two people, everything is going to be repeated. A, B, B, A, C, D, D, C, and so on and so forth. So however many ways there are, we have to take half as many. We have to take half as many. And then we realize that there are only six different ways, as we can see, either, this, either these six different ways or these six different ways, but not both. Here we deal with combination. So in the combination does not permit repetition. Just remember this part. This is all I remember. Permutation permits repetition. That's all I remember. This is my. This is our mnemonic. This is our mnemonic. If you remember, we learned the word mnemonic long time ago. Mnemonic is a memory device. Mnemonic is something that we make up to remember something. And this is our mnemonic. Permutation. Permutation permits repetition. And mnemonic, of course, you do not need help with that. But just in the event that you do, as I said there, it simply means. A memory device, something that helps us remember something. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. If we were to pick, if we were to pick two people, if we were to pick two people out of say seven, again, situation would be the same. Seven ways we can pick a first person. There are six ways we can pick a second person. And since everything is being repeated, we have we have half as many possibilities. And that's it. The answer would be. 7 times 3. 21 different ways of picking two people as long as order does not matter. There are 21 combinations and of course 42 permutations because in permutation the order matters. Let's do, let's, let's, let's make it a little bit more complicated. Let's pick now two people. Let's pick three people. Let's pick three people out of four and see what happens. Let's pick three people out of four and you will see what happens here. What's going to happen is that we do, we do the pair first before we worry about the third person. Okay, pay attention. We do the pair first and then, then we worry about the third person. We do not pick all three people at once. Ask yourself first, how many different ways can we pick a pair? Well, the answer is right here. There are 12 different ways of picking two people out of four. Even though we have to pick three here, we first start out with two. There are 12 different ways of picking a pair. Why 12 different ways? Because there are four different ways of picking a first person. Once we have chosen the first person, there are three different ways of picking a second person. And then we realize that everything is going to be repeated. Everything is going to be repeated, so we have to have half as many. We don't have 12 possibilities, we only have six, as we can see there already. And then what happens? Watch what happens here. Then what happens? What happens is this part. What's going to happen is, for every pair that we picked here, for every pair that we picked here, there are two possibilities. We have A, B, and then we can have either C or a D. We have A, C, we can have either B or a D. We can have A, D, and then we can have A, D, and either, either a B or a C. You get the idea. So for every pair that we see there, there are 12 different pairs, and for every pair, there are two other possibilities to pick a third person. There are two ways we can pick a third person. Once we have a pair, once we have a pair, let's see if we have a pair of C, D. Once we have a pair of C, D, 
then CD can be combined with either A or B. So there are two different ways we can pick the third person right here. Once we have chosen a once we have, once we have chosen first person, there are four different ways of picking a first person, three different ways of picking a second person. Once we have, we have once we have chosen a pair, we stop right there ourselves. Stop ourselves right there, and we ask say to ourselves that because every pair is being repeated, we have to take half as many. And now there are two different ways of picking a third person. But as soon as you pick a third person, guess watch what happens here. Everything is going to be counted three times. Everything is going to be counted. Instead of double counting, now we begin to triple count. When we pick a third person, we begin to triple count. Watch what happens here. Here we have A, B, C. I'm going to erase everything else except the part that pertains here. Here we have A, B, C. You see A, B, C. And then we have B, A. And then of course we're going to have C here. B, A, C. Right here. And then we're going to have C, C. There you go. C, C. Right here. C, A. C A B C A B B A C A B C. You see, it's counted three times. Well, let's do one more. Here we have C D. So we have C D C D B. Let's say C D B. We have D C B. We have D B C. You see, this is. I shouldn't put a circle around it because circle circle was used there. But you get the idea. Everything is everything is double. Everything is triple counted now. Everything is triple counted. And we realize that as soon as we pick a third person, we begin to triple count. And therefore, we have to take third as many. And that's it. That's your answer. Keep, watch, keep watching. See, uh, keep listening. See what happens here. So, uh, we have 4 times 3 times 2 divided by 2 times 3. And then 2 cancels out with 2. And 3 cancels out with 2. And we find ourselves we are, we find ourselves saying that there are 4 different ways of picking 3 people out of 4. 3 people out of 4. Does it make any sense to you? Does it make any logical sense? Were you able to realize right from the very beginning that there would have to be a three different ways of picking? Uh, sorry, there, 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 there would have to be there would have to be four different ways of picking three people out of four. One more time, there would have to be four different ways of picking three people out of four. Why? The simple answer is very simple. We have four different people: A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So you say to me, go to that room, in that room you're going to find four people, Mr. A, B, C, and D. Uh, I need three people to work on this job. I need three people to work on this project. Bring me three people to work on it. Well, what you have told me just now, by virtue of telling me, by virtue of telling me, uh, by virtue of telling me to bring three people to work on this project, what you have told me is that go to that room, bring everybody but one. What you have told me here is to go in that room and not pick one person. Don't pick one person, bring everybody else. Well, how many different ways can I pick? How many different ways can I not pick one person out of four? Well, let's find out. I have A, B, C, D. One way is that I can go in the room and not pick D and come out with A, B, C. Another way is to go in the room and not pick C and come out with A, B, D. Third way is to go in the room and not pick B and come out with A, C, D. And finally, I could go in the room and not pick A and come out with B, C, D. As you, can, as you can see, there are four different ways of picking three people out of four. This is the mechanics behind it. This is the mechanics behind it. Just remember, when we pick a third person, everything is triple counted. When we, take a, when we begin to pick fourth person, we start counting everything. We start counting four times, quadruple counting. Do you understand? And like I said before, if you need to understand this concept in more details, I will spend two days working on the same exact concept in the previous videos, day number 57 and 58. We can watch, you can go and watch that, uh, those, those, video, uh, those two days if, if you wish. Now here, the problem that we're dealing with, problem number seven, the situation that we're given is this. The situation that we have is this. Okay, I need, I need to erase this thing. We need the room here. First of all, in problem number seven, we're simply asked to pick few people to work on a project. In other words, order is of no importance. So we're not dealing with permutation, we're dealing with combination. In other words, order does not matter. And here's the situation. We have we have six person team. We have to form we have to form a six person six person team out of eleven we are told. Problem number seven is what we are doing here. Problem number seven on page one fifty seven we are told that the manager is forming a six person team to work on a certain project. 
from the 11 candidates available for the team, the manager has already chosen three people. Three have three have already been chosen. All right. So three are already chosen, and we need six. In other words, what what, what our job is now is to choose three more people. Is to put three more people out of the remaining eight because we started out with eleven. Three have already been chosen out of eleven, which means we are left with only eight people. And our job is to pick the our job is to pick the uh, three more people out of those eight people. Well, there we go. It's very simple, very straightforward. Once you understand the concept, this begin our process. How many different ways can we pick a first person? Well, there are eight people, so there are eight different ways we can pick first person. How many different ways can we pick a second person? Well, once one person has been chosen, there are only seven people left. Well, seven people left to fill the second position. Now I shouldn't actually say second position because second position has a connotation of order of being any importance. I should have not said that. There are seven different ways of picking a second person. Let's not say second position because second position would be a permutation. It's position is not a, uh, order is of no importance here. Do you understand? This is the combination. There are seven different ways we can pick a second person out of the remain uh, because there are seven remaining. We already picked one person. As soon as we pick a second person, we stop and we remind ourselves that by the, by the virtue of picking a second person, the things are going to be repeated. Michael and Adam, and Adam and Michael. Michael and Adam, and Adam and Michael is the same two people. We are counting them twice, so we have to take half as many. Now let's pick a third person. How many different ways can we pick a third person? Well, there, are eight diff there were eight different ways of picking the first person. And therefore, there were seven different ways of picking a second person. Now there are only six people left. Therefore, there are six different ways of picking a third person. But as soon as we pick a third person, as soon as we pick the third person, things are going to begin to count. Uh, things are begin to triple count. We, be, we will begin to start counting uh, three times. A, B, C is going to be counted as one one situation. Uh, B, A, C is going to be counted as another situation. The CBA is counted in other situations and so on and so forth. Everything is going to be triple counted. So we divide that by three. That's it. We're done. We're done. So here we have two times three, which is six. So it cancels out. And the answer is seven times eight. Seven, seven, seven is a 49. 49 plus seven is 56. The answer is 56. There are, 50, there are 56 different ways of picking three people out of the remaining eight people that we have. We had 11 to begin with, we had already chosen 3, so we had 8 people remaining and we had 3 different, three more people to pick out of those 8 and there are 56 ways. There is, your, there is a reason for it. There is no need to memorize formulas, they talk about the formulas for permutation and combination and they talk about factorials and this and that. It gets quite complicated. Just understand it logically and, and just, just, just follow the simple logic. When we pick a second person, we begin to repeat things. It's very simple. A, B, and B, A is going to begin repeated. When we pick a third person, we begin to triple count everything. And therefore, whatever the number is on the top, we have to take third as many. That's all. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.